Okay, we are recording. I am so excited to be here with you guys. Happy Monday. My name is Ashley Walmer and I am one of your uplines. I'm a founding circle member, which just means that I'm direct to corporate. And if you are on Team Ignite, you are a part of my team. So if we haven't met yet, hello, hello, welcome. I am so excited to be on here with you guys this evening. Um, just a little bit of background. I know we have so many new people joining our team and hopping on here. I have been in network marketing ever since I was 19 years old, which is absolutely crazy. I got invited to an event, saw the vision right away that you could make money from home. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I jumped in and I had like zero success for a really, really long time. Um, my background was I was an esthetician. I worked for Aveda. Absolutely loved, loved, loved what I did. But it wasn't until I got pregnant. And um, my ex-husband was in the military. And so he was gone. And I just thought to myself, oh my goodness, like who's going to raise this baby, right? And so I started looking into just other ways that I could make some extra income from home. And I remembered going to that meeting when I was in college and realizing that I could get into involved in network marketing. I was one of those people that was actually looking for network marketing. I was like, oh yeah, I heard about that. I didn't do very well, but maybe I could try it again, right? Well, got in another company. Um, it was a skincare company. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to kill it in this. Made 13 bucks in a year. Not a great business decision. Um, and so I was just one of those people, you guys, that kept putting my foot in front of the other until things clicked. And for me, that was Aspen Emery. That was meeting her and she was my upline in a company and having somebody like her invest in me, teach me the things that she was doing. And right away, you guys, that coach mentality that I have in me just started to connect. And I was like, oh my goodness, you don't have to go and reinvent the wheel. You're in business for yourself, but you're not by yourself. And if I could duplicate what she did for me, for the people enrolling with me, like this could work. And this can work for, for not just me and my family, but the masses, okay? And so what I'm going to teach you guys tonight is how to work your business smarter, not harder. Okay, I'm going to teach you guys, give you guys some simple tricks and tips that I use every single day that have helped me become a six-figure income earner in this industry. So before we get started, I do want to start with a couple just different announcements because we have some really special things going on now that we are in the month of February. So this is the last week of bonus pools for you guys to start running towards those, earning those. So make sure that if you can't, if you don't know how to figure out where you're at with your PCV, get with your upline, get with one of your one-star executive uplines or above to figure out if you're in the running for that. And you guys, it's a thousand PCCV. If you're at 500 right now, you need to bust it, right? The amount of extra income that you can earn in that customer bonus pool plus the 25% extra is insane. If you haven't heard Erin Austin's story, she got started with us and four weeks later was able to hit the rank of one star executive, but because she also earned the customer bonus pool, she made over a thousand dollars in her first four weeks in Emrys. So I want you guys guys getting those paychecks this month. So it's the last week of bonus pools. And we are now in February, which means February 27th. So in four Thursdays is the very last day to earn director summit or all of the bonuses that are on the table, which means this week, this pay week, starting on Friday, it's Monday right now, is the first week in this four week roll. So Every single thing, every volume that you guys get, every enrollment counts towards the volume to hit those ranks and hit those bonuses. And obviously you guys can rank up before then. We encourage it. We love it. Carly just hit one star executive last week and got that $250 bonus, but everything you do right now matters. Okay. If you are curious, wondering, maybe second guessing what you have your hands on. You know you said yes to this, but you're not exactly sure really what that means. I want you guys at some point in the next day or two to watch the live that I did today on Ignite talking about what we have our hands on and why you want to start running like your hair is on fire right now. Okay. So let's get into it. I've got lots of notes that I'm going to be going back and forth with so I don't forget anything. So the biggest thing right now is um, 
for work smarter, not harder is it's consistency. You guys, you, the best thing about a business like this is you pick your schedule, your hours that you're working, whatever that looks like. And for every single person, it's going to look a little bit different, right? I'd love for you guys that are on here right now, throw in the chat a one, if you work full time and a two, if you are a stay at home mom of some sort or stay at home dad or work from home, okay? Because we all are very, very different. We all have different schedules. We're in different stages of our life, right? But we all have the same 24 hours in a day. It's just what we do with it, right? So for me, you guys, my day-to-day -day is very different. Your day-to-day -day is very different, even if you work a full-time job, right? So what you get to decide is what that looks like for you, okay? Do you have one hour in a day that you can do some things to move your business forward? All you need is one hour. I am telling you, all you need is one hour, but it is about being intentional. And then as that intention starts building, it's the consistency every single day of doing something for your business that is going to yield the results that you guys want. And so I'm going to be giving you guys a bunch of different things. And I want you to think through, when can I do this? When are the pockets in my day that I'm going to commit to doing these things so that those can start being consistent and the results that I want are going to start happening and coming to mind. So you got to figure out what works for you. I'm also going to be talking about how to build on social media and how to build in person. Now, here's what I'll tell you guys. Um, I built to six figures all through in-person events, all through partying every single day, but it got to a point in my business where I couldn't ignore what was going on on social media. Okay. There were other people in this industry and all these different companies out there that were killing it on social media. And I was like, man, I'm killing it in parties. Like my skill set is building belly to belly. I love being around people. I know that if I can sit down with somebody, I'm going to close them, but I can't ignore what's happening. I'm sitting here scrolling on Facebook and Instagram at night while I'm watching Netflix or whatever. Right? So why not utilize this tool? Right? And I heard it said one time, you have absolutely no excuse ever to say I ran out of people to talk to. That should never come out of your mouth. Why? Because we have this thing right here that if we pick up and click on an app called Facebook or Instagram, we now have billions of people at our disposal. You just got to build relationships with them, right? Just like your best friend and you didn't become best friends in a matter of two seconds. You had to build relationships. Maybe you went to high school with them. Maybe you went to college with them, right? Maybe you hated each other for a while and then both dated a boy and broke up and realized that you're best friends, right? So that takes time. Same thing on social media. So what I'm going to talk to you guys tonight though, is you, as I'm talking through things, pick and choose what you want. The legacy blueprint of Emrys is not a buffet, but how you build this business, all the tips and tricks that you hear from leaders, that's the buffet. You could say, Ooh, I like that. I'm going to do that. Ooh, that one. Eh, that's not really for me. I'm going to focus on what I'm good at. Ooh, that one right there. I can really run with that. So you got to figure out what works for you and then take the tools and go run with it. Okay. Um, so I work my business in power hours. Sometimes it's a power 30 minutes. If you've got two of them, right? Do two power hours, but make sure that that time is super, super intentional. I don't have a fancy app to, you know, clock my time. I just use the timer on my phone, you guys, and I'll set it for like 10 minutes and just click start. Okay. And then I will do a task for 10 minutes. So this is how I keep really on task and on focus. A lot of times too, I'll even put on my do not disturb. So that way I'm not overwhelmed or bombarded by Facebook messages or text messages from you guys or whatever, because I'm building my business. And the best way that I can be a leader to you guys is to lead by example and to go get my enrollments that I say that I'm going to get done, right? That's the best way to help your team. So how many of you right now would love to go enroll 10 people this month that you can go put over here and put over here and bless this person on your team and 
put a few over here, right? That is the best way that you can help your team is by you leading from the front and enrolling, right? And so you got to take your business seriously. You got to help yourself. You got to put on your air mask before you can start helping other people on your team. And the best way to do that is by enrolling. Okay. So we're going to talk through the six things I do every single day. They are called daily IPAs, income producing activities. These are the six things that are non-negotiables for me. I know some of you guys have heard Tammy talk about measure of success, things like that, but there are six things that it doesn't matter if I'm sick, tired, whatever, they have to get done. It's a non-negotiable. Okay. So then we're going to talk through and break down each one of those. So what those are, grow your network. Okay. Grow your network. That is the very first thing that you want to do every single day. So that could be adding names to your hundreds list. If you're brand new, grab a piece of paper, go through your Facebook, go through your text messages, just start writing down every single person that you can think of. We have lots of memory joggers in the files section on our team page. It's also adding friends on Facebook, adding followers on Instagram, talking to people when you're out and about, talking to people, striking up conversation with them while you're sitting in line at the grocery store, add them. Okay. So that is growing your network. That is the first thing that you have to do every single day. The second thing that you have to do every single day is interact with people, engage with people, right? How many of you are like, oh man, I just posted and nobody liked it, right? Well, one, if you only have 30 friends on Facebook, only 10% of your friends see that, right? So that's three. And yeah, you're probably not going to get very many likes. But the other thing that I always ask myself is, have I been a friend first to warrant somebody liking and commenting on my stuff? So that means, are you liking and commenting on other people's things on Facebook? Are you being a good friend and sending a text message to one of your best friends and just simply saying something like, how are you doing today? I miss you, right? It doesn't have to just be on social. Think about those people that you can be interacting with, texting, sending a Facebook message to, even a nice note, right? So being an interactive, engaging person. So interacting and engaging is the second thing. The third thing you have to do every single day is post and add to your story if you're using social media, okay? So I'm just gonna act like we all are because I'm telling you guys what's worked for me and how I've worked my business. So um, posting and adding to my story every single day. Now, it does not mean I'm adding Emra stuff every single day. No, that just means I'm opening the doors to my business on Facebook and on Instagram, and I am being present. I'm adding value. I'm adding content to the world. It doesn't always have to be about Emrys, but it does have to be every single day. I'm adding some sort of value to social media. Okay, the fourth thing that you have to do every single day is you've got to message people. You've got to make the ask. You've got to send those very first messages to people that you've never talked to before about Emrys. Okay, so I always start with, you know, who did I talk to yesterday? Maybe responding to people. That counts. Sending a warm message. I don't like to say cold message, but I definitely do, you guys, send messages to people that I don't know very well. I've built a relationship with them. I'm going to teach you guys a couple of things like that. I don't just go and cold message the same script to 75 people, but I am intentional about what I have my hands on. And I am not scared to send a message to somebody that I think would freaking kill it in this business and say to them just that. Or if I see somebody that's talking about wanting to lose weight and needing something and being in a community, I'm going to message them about the Renew 180 challenge, right? I am not scared to do that. We have our hands on something that is absolutely incredible. So to me, those are called warm messages because I'm nice and I'm friendly and I am not just spamming the whole world. And then sending new messages to people on your hundreds list. Okay. The fifth thing that you have to do every single day is follow up. So follow up messages are you've already talked to that person and now you're sending a follow up message to them to move that conversation to that next level. Okay. And then the last thing that you have to do every single day is personal development. Okay. So we are going to break down what all of these things are and I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks and things like that. 
So not everyone does all of these things in the same way. Like I said, pick and choose what works for you guys. Um, and we're actually going to start with personal development. Okay, because I believe that that is the number one thing that you've got to do to get your business in a position to move forward. Okay, you've got to invest in you. Nobody else is going to invest in you like you are going to invest in yourself. You guys, being on this Zoom tonight is personal development for the day. So if you're sitting here and you're like, oh crap, I haven't done anything yet today, you're doing it right now. Personal professional development is learning a skill. It's filling your mind up. It's filling your heart up, things like that. So you got to take care of you first. Like I said, that oxygen mask before you go and help anybody else. If you're not getting filled up, if you're not filled up with goodness, how can you pour out into anybody else or expect anybody to join you if you are not a person of integrity and excitement and somebody who is filled up and ready to go take on the world, right? So, okay. The most important part of your business. Do you guys want to know the most important part of your business? It's you. You are the most intricate, important part of your entire business. If you are not in the right headspace, your business is not in the right headspace. And that is a day-to-day -day thing, right? Sometimes you guys are killing it for a week and then bam, something happens and that day is you've got to take back your mind. So for me, what I feel like in this business, we, we can sit here and talk about income producing activities and we're going to for the rest of this Zoom, but the action, the components, the mechanics of how to do this business is really 10% of how to be successful. 90% of your success starts right here, right here. If you don't believe you're going to be successful, do you think you're going to take the action required to then go get the results that you need? And then what happens when you don't get the results that you want? Your confidence starts waning, your belief starts waning, and you start telling yourself, this isn't working for you. You're not good at this. Look at that person over there. They're killing it. I'm not. Must be something wrong with me, right? It all starts and ends right here. You can be doing absolutely everything right for your business to move it forward in an action way, but if you don't believe that you're going to be successful and pour into yourself for those days that are hard, the day that you get a no that you didn't think you were going to get, the day that maybe you something happens in life, it's going to completely take you out of the game. Okay. So let me let's see. Okay. So let's talk about what kind of person people want to join, right? If people join people that know where they're going and people join people that they know, like, and trust, let's gut check moment for a minute real quick and just ask yourself, that question. Do you know where you're going? Do you know where you're going with Emrys? Like, do you have a goal right now? What is it? Are you talking about it? Are you telling people what you're doing? Are you being loud about it to your team? Are you telling your family? Are you telling your friends you're going director and you're earning that bonus? Are you going to be in Florida? If not, you guys start right there because people want to join people that know where they're going. They wanna be a part of something that is bigger than themselves. And they wanna know that when they join you, you're going to lead them to that space right there, okay? The next part is people join people that they know, like, and trust. Here's a, a big old gut check moment, and I'm so glad I'm talking to all of you, and this is not an individual conversation, so don't take it personally. I'm not talking specifically about you, but if you get that gut check moment, that means you need to dig in and figure it out. Are you somebody that knows people, right? Are you doing your job of interacting with people and meeting people? Are you somebody that just sits at home and doesn't ever in interact or engage with people, right? No like. Are you likable? Oops, remember when I set that timer, I forgot to hit stop, okay? Are you likable? Are you somebody that is an enjoyable to be around or do you complain all the time? Do you have a negative mindset? Do you talk crap on social media about other people? Are you negatively talking, posting things that are negative, right? That is not likable or enjoyable. 
And so that's a gut check moment. So no like, and trust, trust. Are you somebody that your friends come to for advice? They look to, they can trust you. They're asking your opinion on things. Those are the qualities that make a really incredible brand ambassador. It's not how pretty their pictures are on social media. It's not, they have the best script. The best person, the best brand ambassador, the people that I'm looking for are the people that want something more out of life, that know where they're going, that want to run for it, that they have a big sphere of influence around people. They know a lot of people, they're out there, they are likable, they're interactive, they're excited, they have a fire with life, right? And they're trustworthy, integrity-filled people. That right there is the key to all of your success in this business, okay? So um, how and what types of things are personal development, all right? So right away in the morning when I wake up, um, I've done this in the past for like 30 day sprints. If I need to get my mind right or if I'm ready to go on like a big run, there is a YouTube called The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale, okay? The Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale. It was something that was really hard for me to listen to at first, but once I got over myself and actually did it, it is my favorite thing in the world to listen to. There were lots of times where honestly I woke up and I just hit play and I wasn't even listening to every single word. I might've been getting breakfast or around or doing something, hopping on a power hour, but it is a huge, 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 incredible tool for you to use to get your mind right. Um, other things that you guys can do, obviously, like I said, getting on zoom, downloading audibles and listening to a book. Sometimes honestly, just working out gets you in that good headspace. Maybe make a playlist, um, of, of songs that get you in a really good mood. If you're wanting to read a book, we have a file on ignite with all different kinds of personal development books. You can look through there, figure out which one you want to, to read and then go buy it or listen to it on YouTube. Um, church sermons, things like that. Those are all personal development, you guys. And like I said, there's some times where I'm not necessarily always listening to every single word. It's just on in the background and I'm hearing the messages that I'm supposed to as I'm going about my day. When you're showering, when maybe you're driving to work or driving your kids to school, things like that. Those are times where you can just hop on personal development. Um, it doesn't have to be like a designated hour or anything like that. All right. Let's get into the nitty gritty, the income producing activities. I'm gonna take a drink, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to talk. Okay, so the first thing I wanna teach you guys is growing your network, okay? So growing your network. So in person, what that looks like is make sure you guys have business cards. You can go to vistaprint.com and order them for really, really cheap and make your own design, things like that. But business cards are a great way when you're out and about talking to people, you can exchange information on there. Um, maybe put like, ask me about a free sample or ask me how to get a sample of CBD, things like that. Wear your gear, you guys. Wear your shirts. There are so many cute things in our, in our store. If you're out and about, people are going to ask you, what's Emrys? What's that? What's a legacy builder? What's a founding partner? And it's going to strike up conversation. One of my favorite things to do, you guys, is when I'm standing in line, instead of being on my phone, I'm looking for people to interact with and engage with. My favorite is because I'm a mom. I want to find the moms. I want to find somebody who's got a little baby. And I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, she's so adorable. Like, is she your only one? See, I'm asking questions. And a lot of times they're like, yeah, or no, I've got a couple of their kids at home. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Like, do you get to stay home with her? What do you do? Yeah, I stay home, but I have to go back on maternity leave. Like, and then here's the thing. They always ask you the same thing. Well, what about you? Like, what do you do? Do you have kids? Things like that. And I'm, I always say, I actually work at home. So it's pretty incredible. I just kind of make my own hours and, you know, they're like, oh, well, what do you do? And I will instantly then grab my phone and be like, okay, let me um, actually add you on Facebook. So what's your name? And I'll click the search bar and I will then hand it to them and they'll type in their name for me and I'll just click add friend. And then I'll say, when I get home, I'll send you a quick message and kind of tell you a little bit about like what I do, right? Because you're busy, you're trying to get, you know, checked out if you're in line at Old Navy or whatever. And when you get home or when you get in the car, then you can just send a message that says something like, hey, it was so good to meet you today. 
at Old Navy, I loved connecting with you, but I wanted to make sure I followed up with you. You asked me a little bit about like what I did, and I think you'd be absolutely incredible at what I do because of X, Y, Z, right? And so that is a really, really awesome way for you guys when you're out and about meeting people for you to grow your network that way. All right, so let's talk about Facebook. So adding people, all right? So when you are on Facebook, um, what you can do is you can go to, you know, your friends of friends, like, um, you could go to your husband's friends and just start adding his friends. You could go to your best friend's page, click her friends, add her friends. You can go into groups and start adding that way. My favorite thing to do is when I get on Facebook, when you first are on and you're on your home screen, right? If you guys scroll till you find an ad it usually happens pretty quickly because that's how facebook works right they like to um target us with stuff i have this jewelry ad right here okay it took me like what four or five swipes i will then click on the comments or the likes on that post in the ad and it takes me to the ad and then i'm going to click on that person's name and just click add friend Okay, so I do that. I add about three to five friends on Facebook every single day. You're not gonna wanna spam everybody. Do not go over five every single day because people on Facebook um, are a little bit, they don't just like add everybody, right? And so I would hate for you to send out like 20 and only get one back. That'll tell Facebook that you're spamming people. But if you send three to five Facebook friend requests every single day, chances are, one to three are gonna accept. So then what I do is I have a calendar and um, I write their names down. So the second that they accept me as a friend, I start keeping track and I add their name down on, um, on my calendar, okay? And you guys see these lines. So every single day, so it started with Susan. Susan added me as a friend and then I'm gonna tell you guys what those dash marks are here in a second. Okay, because then I interact with those people. But I'm keeping track of the people that have actually added me back on Facebook. So on Instagram, and I'm going to actually screen share with you guys so you can see my phone for a sec. Give me a minute as I get this added. <laughs> Okay, hopefully you guys can see my phone. So if you are on Instagram, okay, um, what you're gonna wanna do is click on the, on the very bottom, the little explore button right there. Okay, it's gonna look like this. And what I try to do is I find somebody that looks like me. Your explore page is, is um, based on things you already like, people you're friends with, Instagram just automatically says, I think Ashley would be interested in these people. So what I do is I try to find somebody like me. I try to find some, like a mom or something. So I'm gonna actually click on this picture right here of these kids. And then I'm gonna click on that person. They have 39,000 followers, okay? The chance of her following me back is very, very slim. She is only following 645 people. But what I'm gonna do is I wanna get into the people that are following her. So I might follow her, but then I'm gonna click on one of her pictures and I'm gonna go to the people that liked that picture. And there you go, you guys. You've got people that you can now follow and you can follow, I believe, up to about 100 an hour. So you can go through here and just click follow, follow, follow until it stops you or if you're like, okay, I wanna to go to another picture and do that. I'm gonna go back out to the explore page and I'm gonna click on this one. Then I'm gonna to go to her page. Then I'm gonna click on her image and click on the likes. Now I can start again following. I like to follow the people that have that pink circle around there. That means that they've recently posted a story on Instagram, which means that they are active, okay? So I wanna be following people that are active on Instagram. Okay, so that is one way that I find people to follow on Instagram. Um, okay, let me stop screen share real quick.
Okay. So think of things that make you, you, right? Think of the things that make you, you. Are you a Christian? Are you into food? What kind of food do you, would you like to follow people that are, um, maybe keto, if you're keto or whole 30 or paleo, whatever that looks like, right? So think of things that you're interested in your hobbies and you want to find people that are just like you. Why? Because you're going to have something to talk about. You're going to have something to connect about. If you're building relationships with somebody, you want to have some sort of common ground. And so think of the things that make you you that you're interested in. It's so easy to find other people that are just like that that are on Instagram or on Facebook. A lot of times on Facebook, you can find those types of people in groups, okay? So let's move on to the next, um, the next bullet point. So we talked about personal development. We talked about growing your network. Now let's talk about interacting and engaging with people. So on Instagram, maybe I should have just kept it on screen share because I wanna make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. a second okay so let's go back over to instagram all right so um i would recommend that if you have less than a thousand to two thousand followers that you set your account to private the reason why is when you go to your profile and you're clicking follow to people they're going to get a notification that says ashley walmer wants to follow you and if i am private they can only see my name and my bio. They can't see any of my pictures. And so what that does to the human psyche is we are curious. So that person's like, oh, what is she about? Follow. And there's a button that will pop up right here that says follow. And it's going to make them want to follow me to see what I'm about. If they can see all of this stuff and they're like, eh, I'm not really interested in her, they could click off of it without following me back. So for you, it's a really awesome way if your account is on private for you to start getting followers because you're going to um, make people really, really curious. The other thing that happens is when somebody then clicks follow to follow you, you're going to get a notification. So on the bottom of the screen, that heart right there, those are your notifications. And so as people start following you, you're at the very top. Mine's public because I have a lot of followers. But at the very top, you're going to see like 67 people request to follow you and you get to hit accept, accept, accept. Now, if it is, if you're a female and if you've got a bunch of dudes following you, deny, 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 right? Or if it's somebody that is a different language than you, those aren't people that I'm going to be able to even talk to. So I'm going to deny some of those people. If it looks like a fake person, deny. You guys have control of that, okay? But here's the really cool thing I'm going to teach you. It's called the three to one ratio. So when you get a request from somebody, or I'm just going to do this one right here. This girl started following me today. So I'm going to go click on her. Oh, see how it says follow back? Her account is private, which means I can't see her profile. So I'm going to automatically click follow back because I want to see her profile. But let me just go to, let's just say for example, okay. So this person started following me. So if I've requested them, I want to engage with this person. So I follow the three, one ratio, which means I am going to like three of her pictures and comment on one. So I'm just going to click on her picture and I'm going to double tap three pictures. And then I'm going to comment on at least one of them. And your comment should be something that is related to the picture, not just love it, something like that. So let's think of something I could say. Mm, let me see. I'm going to ask her actually a question. I'm going to say, where was this picture taken? Looks so pretty. Okay. Now I just commented that. So now she is going to have at least four notifications from me. When she clicks on her notifications, she's going to see Ashley Walmer, Ashley Walmer, Ashley Walmer, Ashley Walmer. What's going to happen? She's going to go back and click on me and start engaging with me. So every single day, you guys, you can do that. That is a really, really easy way for you to engage and interact with your followers on Instagram is follow the three, one ratio, like three pictures, comment on one. The next thing that you guys can do is interact in stories. 
So you can click through somebody's story and you can interact. If you scroll up, do you guys see those quick reactions? You can click one of those or you can send a message to them. Looks good. Now this is Danielle. LOL. I'm on the team Zoom. Okay, but you can click through. Let me find somebody that I would actually like want to like interact with. That's not already in our business or in another business. Okay, Jenny Stoffers, perfect. So started another project. Okay, so I'm interacting with her. I am going to maybe, let's see, what else could I interact with? Maybe do the love on that one, okay? So now I'm interacting with her story. That's what that looks like. That's really, really easy for you guys to do every single day. The other way that you can interact is just going through here and double tapping, you know, liking, commenting, this way. This is really easy too. This one's not as intentional. The other ways are a little bit more intentional. Now, the other thing that I do is when I come across a person that I'm like, oh my gosh, I want them on my team. I love them. I love their personality. I love everything about them. Um, what you can do is you can actually click this little button right here that looks like a flag on the bottom right of their picture and see how it says save to collection you can actually make so i have a collection called my prospects okay so i'm going to teach you guys how to set that up if you go to your profile and click those three little lines at the very top and click saved you can create folders in your instagram and save pictures save different things, save things you want to buy, save posts that you love about CBD. You can save a bunch of stuff. You just click that plus button, name your collection, and then there you go. So I have one called prospects. So these are all people that I want on my team. So now I can go here and very intentionally interact with certain people, comment, like on their things, because these are people that I want on my team. I don't want to forget about these people. So this is just an easy way for you guys to, to keep it kind of all um, organized there. Okay, now let's talk about letter of the day. So, or let's go to Facebook. Let me stop screen sharing. Okay, so on Facebook, how I interact and engage with people is something called letter of the day. So the goal of this, you guys, the goal of interacting is nothing about Emrys. It's all about just building relationships, connecting with people. And so you can actually download your Facebook friends list through Facebook. I believe if you go to Ignite and just type in letter of the day or download Facebook, you, there's a post if you click the search bar that will pop up that you guys can see the um, exact directions on how to do that. But I, once you download your Facebook friends, you can either print it off or you can export it into like an Excel spreadsheet. I have mine on my Google Doc. I'm actually gonna show you guys what it looks like. And as I'm going through my letter of the day, and you guys, this is like 10 minutes, okay? It takes, you know, 10 minutes to follow. It takes 10 minutes to interact, all right? So set your timer for 10 minutes, get on Facebook, and go to the A's and just start liking and commenting on people's stuff. So like I said, you can do it that simply. If you want to keep track, you can highlight the ones if you're following along. I'm gonna show you guys how I've organized it just on my Google Doc. Okay, this is, so I have, it automatically puts their name right here, okay? And then I just have notes about them if they're a VIP customer or if, you know, um, they're already a brand ambassador. If I've done letter of the day, if I've added them to a list, just you guys can put in whatever you guys want, but I'll go through here and Aaron Roberts. Are, okay. Now I'm going to go to Aaron Roberts on my Facebook, like comment, Aaron Walker, Abby, you could go to the bees on your page, 
whatever that looks like for you, however you want to do it, you can make it simple, you can make it an Excel spreadsheet, like I said. The letter of the day is incredible because you guys have an intentional thing that you are doing for those 10 minutes. You are commenting and liking on every single person in your Facebook that begins with G. And like I said, you guys, if your timer goes off and that's you know all the time that you have, that's okay. It doesn't matter if you didn't get through all the G's that day, but you at least got through some and you're being intentional about building relationships with those people. Um, the other thing that I do every single day on Facebook is send happy birthday messages. So there is a notification that pops up um, that tells you whose birthday it is that day. And I will just send them a message just to once again, interact with them, build relationships. That is all part of engaging and interacting. So the other thing that I do is remember when I told you guys that I write down my new friends that have added me on Facebook. Okay. So what I will do now with Susan is every single day, I'm going to go to her because we're new friends. We don't know each other very well. I'm going to go to her profile and day one, I'm going to like and comment. And then day two, like and comment. Day three, like and comment. Day four, like and comment. And all, all week long, I'll just write down everybody's name that has sent me um, a friend request or that, that I've sent a friend request that's accepted me. And I'm going to put a tally next to them for every day that I actually comment and like on their Instagram. Guess what happens, you guys, when I get to five? I send them a message about Emrys. Okay, so I've warmed up this relationship. I've been liking, I've been commenting. Maybe we've been, you know, messaging back and forth about clothes or lipstick or whatever. But on day five, I'm going to now send them some sort of message about, um, about my business. So, all right, let's move on. Hopefully, if you guys have questions, you're throwing them in the chat. I know this is a lot of information. Again, take the income producing activity and do what you can with it. Okay, so let's talk about posting and adding to your story. So posting and adding to your story. This is something that you guys, it could take you five minutes, it could take you 10 minutes. I like to get my posts ready for the whole week. Because like I said, my days can be a little bit crazy and I wanna make sure that I'm consistent with those things. And so I like to set up the different things that I'm gonna be posting about for the week. I'm gonna think through, okay, it's the last week of bonus pools. I want to make sure I get some customers. I need to maybe make a post tomorrow about CBD. And then maybe on Wednesday, I'll make a post about the renew challenge, all of that kind of stuff. Where on Instagram do we set it to private? Um, I'll answer that at the very end, Kim. Okay. Just cause we've moved on from that, but remind me. Um, so setting up your profile or setting up your post for the week. Another thing, you guys, I don't always get ready and do my makeup every single day, like just being completely honest. So on the days that I do, I will take a few selfies of myself. I'll grab a bottle of the Synergy. I'll grab a bottle of Renew and take a few pictures of myself done up. And then I will save those pictures so I can use them throughout the next week or throughout the next couple of weeks. So that every single day when I get to that day and I'm going to make my post about CBD and I'm like, sitting in my pajamas, I have a picture and a post ready to go that I've already taken of Synergy and I look halfway decent, right? So um, I'm going to show you guys on Instagram how you can actually save drafts. So what I'll do is, you know, I'll pick a day. Um, like today was going to, I usually do these on Mondays. But since I was prepping for the Zoom, I didn't and I wanted to show you guys. So what you can do is if you're on Instagram and you wanna set up some posts for the week. Okay, so you can go into Instagram and the very bottom, that little plus button, that's how you create a post, okay? So you can see I already have a draft there ready to go. Let's just say I wanted to, this was gonna be the picture that I wanted to make my post. I click on the next, next, and then I write my caption. So this is gonna be my post, okay? Whatever I'm gonna be writing about. Now, instead of hitting share, if I click share, it will actually post to my Instagram, but I don't wanna do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit, hit the back button at the top, back again, and see that where it says save draft, if I click that, it's now going to save a draft for me. Now say I want to do another one. Okay, I want to make a post with, um, I don't know, 
I would never post that. This picture right here, okay? So I wanna make a post about that one day, about my eating habits. And I'm gonna click next, next. And I'm gonna write my post for the day that I'm gonna do and I'm, oop, yeah, okay, but I'm not gonna click share. So now again, I go back, back, save draft. So now say it's Thursday and I wanna make my post that I was gonna make. So now I click here and I can go through my drafts and I'm gonna click this, click next and see it saved the caption that I wrote. And now all you have to do is click share. So you don't have to every single day write your posts. You can spend, you know, 10 minutes coming, figuring out what you want to post for that day, set up all of your drafts ready to go so that it's there for you. So on your lunch, all you need to do is just click post, right? You can do the same thing on Facebook, you guys. So what I do on, on Facebook instead is I just have a note on my phone and um, I type it up in my note. I type it first in Instagram. Okay, copy, paste it to a note on my phone, and then I just paste it into Facebook that day. So that way I'm not double doing all the same effort. So it's the exact same thing. So I do wanna show you, oh, I shouldn't have gotten off of Instagram. I do wanna show you my story. Real quick, because adding to your story is also something that is super important. And you guys can see if you look through here, you can't really tell outside of this picture that it's like an um, that I sell Emrys, right? That I'm an Emrys brand ambassador. Most of these pictures are very, very lifestyle. That is what I like. That's what I want. I don't want somebody coming onto my page and being like, oh my goodness, she's trying to sell me something. I want them to know that I'm a person, that I'm a mom, um, and I want them to just be engaged with me. Now, your story can be a little bit more intentional. So if you click this, this is my story that I made for today, okay? No contract commitments or quotas, personal mentorship from me, make your own hours, work from anywhere, more time freedom, looking for social media influencers, perks, uncapped income, um, you'll get one-on-one -on -one personal mentorship from me, just posting some pictures of friends. Now this one has a poll looking for th to mentor three women, okay? And what you guys can do is you can make a poll where people are actually clicking, I want in or more info, please. I always do a positive outcome. I didn't put yes and no, right? So all of those different things are, I, whoop, I can message both of the people that are clicking, I want in or more info, please, okay? And did you guys know that as, like say you're like, okay, I really like this story that Ashley just did. I wanna duplicate this. I wanna kinda, you know, make, put my own pictures in here. If you hold your thumb down on the screen, you can actually screenshot that and save it to your phone. Go to the next one by clicking. And now you have these pictures saved because Instagram stories are only there for 24 hours. And so if you're like, I want to kind of duplicate this with like my own pictures, you can save these and do that. Okay. So posting to your story is something I also like to do. I will go into an app called over and I will pre-make a bunch of my stories. You can create folders here. See, there's those for today. I have, you know, our promotion um, pictures saved on here. And I'm not going to get into over, you guys. I did create a, um, an, a training on this app on how to use this app. It's on my Instagram. So you can watch that if you guys are wanting to start using over as an app to use your stories. But you guys can create folders. You can come in here. You can already pre-make a bunch of your posts. And that way they're ready to go. So that way that day of the week, you can just go in there and post them, okay? All right, so let's talk about the next income producing activity, which is messaging, making the ask, okay? So you wanna get all of your messages, well, for, okay, I shouldn't say you want to because your guys' time is your time, whether you have an hour in the morning, in the afternoon or whatever. What I like to do is I like to get all of my messaging done in the morning. I try to do a power hour as soon as I, um, come home after bringing the kids from school. So from like eight to nine or from nine to 10, whatever that looks like. And I am sending messages. I am making the ask. 
So who do you want to message? Instagram stories, people that viewed your story, people that did your poll. So I'll show you real quick how to do that, how to see those. So if you're on Instagram, if you want to message the people that are viewing your story, so I'm see how right there at the bottom, you guys, how it says seen by 170 people. I'm gonna click all the way to the very last one and seen by 134. That means 134 people viewed all of my story. You can now see all of these people that viewed your story and send them a message. You can also see the people that posted on the polls right there and send them a message. Three people said, yes, I want in. And five people said, please send me more information. So those are people that I can now message right now. So those are the first people. So when I sit down and I'm ready to message for the day, I always go to my Instagram story, okay? I message the people that viewed my story. So if you're somebody that are like, I don't know who to message, who should I message? Start with your Instagram story. Start to message those people. Then you can go to your posts, who liked your post, who commented on your post. Message those people, okay? Instagram followers, those that saved collection, your prospects, start messaging those people. Go to your Facebook, who are the new friends that you've made that week. Message those people. Then if you still have people to message, if you still have time left on your clicker, grab your hundreds list out and start messaging those people, right? So there's always people to be talking to. So what I want to show you guys next is text replacement, okay? So this is a trick that has literally saved my life, you guys. All right. So if you're an Android user, I'm sorry, I don't have an Android, so I don't know how to do this on Android. You can Google it. But for those of you guys that have an iPhone, I am going to show you how to set up text replacement. And all of my text replacement that I have, I'm going to put on a file on Ignite for you guys. So say if I am messaging, I'm just going to start a new message with Mike just to show you guys this, okay? So if I type in the word one, say he just viewed my poll, okay? So I want to, I can type in one, let's see, view, and it says, hey girl, I saw you viewed your my story about R, I can change that, would you like more info, okay? But did you guys see how easy it was for me to just type in one, Let's see, VIP, um, VIP, I'm trying to remember all of my text replacements. Let me look real quick. One VIP program. Okay, so say I'm talking to somebody and they're like, so what's the VIP program? Instead of like typing out this message, I can just type one VIP program, bam, send. Okay, so I just sent that person. I just sent Mike that. So how you guys can set this up is you go into your settings on your phone, all right? Go into general, click on keyboard, click on text replacement, and see these are all the text replacements that I have. But how you start it is you click the plus button and the phrase is the script that you're wanting to send. The shortcut, the reason why I have one in there instead of just like VIP poll, or like you guys can even do this. Like if somebody's like, so what's the CBD? You guys could type in like one CBD and then write your phrase that you want. What I would recommend doing is going into the notes app on your phone, creating, see how I have like all these different folders, you guys. So I have a folder called text replacement and you can start creating one cold question, one cold interested. If somebody says, is it a pyramid scheme? This is what I send them. If somebody says, what is Emrys? This is what I send them. If somebody says, how do I get started? That's what I send them. If somebody says, I don't have any friends, that's what I send them. So I literally have so many different parts of my conversation in my text replacement because as I am messaging people, it is so fast and so quick and so easy for me to just send them a response, you guys. Remember, work smarter, not harder. 
This is a lifesaver. So I have all of my text replacements all, you know, in here and I'm going to put them on a file on Ignite. So you guys can just take those and start adding in mine. You can edit them, change them, all of that stuff. But I literally have every part of a conversation that you would ever need. You guys are just going to have to maybe like remember what you're typing. Okay. Um, you can also do like, say every Friday for me, I go through all of my personally enrolled and anybody that's not active in Emerus, I'll send them a message. You can do that as a text replacement. You guys can do text replacements for so many different things. Think of the things that you can, that you have lots of conversations with leaders. If maybe every week you're reaching out to your team to figure out like what rank they're pushing for and you kind of send the same text every single time or reminder zooms, right? If we send text message reminders, set up a text replacement for that and then send it, send it, send it, send it, send it to every single person, right? It is so freaking amazing and awesome. Um, the other thing that I do, you guys, is as I'm talking to somebody on Instagram or on Facebook, I always get their phone number and I want the, I want to send the conversation to my phone. Um, that way I have their phone number and I can easily message them and you guys can save them in your phone as, all right, let me screen share. I should just keep it on screen share so I don't have to go back and forth every single time. Okay. So I have, um, I have like the words lead, like leads are people that I've met like out and about that I'm talking to. Do you guys see this? These are all the leads. These are people that I meet out and about in public. Okay. And I save them in my phone as lead. So I can just quickly type in the word lead and then send them a message. I can also do the, um, let me see. Um, let's see, VIP, oh, whoop, VIP, why is it not pulling anybody up? Where, um, pink heart, where's the pink heart? That one. Okay, so these, these were what my previous business, our VIP customers were called LCs, but all of my pink hearts are LCs. So you can save somebody to your phone and do an emoji that you can quickly type in or write in the word VIP and see where I put in the notes. I met them on Instagram. I also, her picture, I, I screenshotted her profile so I can remember what she looks like, or ordered ID number, all that kind of stuff. So I like to have that on my phone, just super, super easy. The other thing, you guys, the other app I wanted to show you is the Reach app. So this is an app that it will take all of your contacts, all of your phone contacts, and you can put them into groups. So I have like my local personally enrolled people, um, PBAs I'm talking to, personally enrolled brand ambassadors, PVIP customers, my VIP customers. So that way, when we have like a BOGO deal, I can go into here and um, create a message. So if I go into messages and let's see, new product message. So I can send this little new script out and I can send it out to all of my VIP customers, bam. And it's gonna send them the same message. And that way, the same thing, you guys, you can do text replacement. So you can go into your reach app and, and type one, you know, new product and have your whole script come up. And then if you have 45 customers right there, you just click send, 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 and it's going to send them messages really, really fast. So text replacement in the reach app is how I get so much stuff done. So many messages sent out super quick. You guys can get all of your messages, all of your follow-up done in a matter of 10 minutes. If you have these things already set up on your phone, this does not have to take all day long. Okay. So Let's now talk about the last action step. So personal development, growing your network, engaging, interacting, posting, sending messages and follow up. Okay. So follow up is the very last thing that I do every single day for my business. Making the ask, sending the message is the first step, but the fortunes in the follow up. Okay. So what I do, you guys, how I keep track. So every single day, as I'm messaging people and they are responding to my messages, I will write their name down on a corresponding day, okay? So let's just say today is Monday. This is, I did an example week for you guys because I just got this calendar a couple days ago. So let's just say um, I sent out, you know, 25 messages today. And Steph, Danny, Aaron, Danielle, Ashley, Shannon, and Felicia all message me back. I'm gonna write their names on Monday. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna go to Tuesday, same thing, gonna go to Wednesday. Everybody that is responding to my messages, I write down. So that is the messaging part. Now, when I'm doing my follow-ups, what I do is I use a two, two, two rule. So I've already sent out my messages for the day. If anybody responds back, I'm gonna write their name down, but now I'm moving on to follow-up. So now what I do is it's, let's just say it's Wednesday, okay? So it's Wednesday and I am going to follow up with the people from two days ago. So I'm gonna go back to Monday and I'm gonna send, and I highlight the people that have enrolled. Okay, so they enrolled as a brand ambassador or a VIP customer. So Steph enrolled with me on Monday, so I'm not following up with her, but I'm gonna send Danny a follow-up message. Hey Danny, I'm throwing in some orders for the week. I know you are super excited about getting that CBD. Are you ready to get your order placed, okay? Aaron, hey Aaron, I know we talked a couple days ago about getting started as a brand ambassador. I really wanna help you earn those bonuses. Are you ready to get started today or do you have any other questions? Hey Danielle, just, I um, wanted to touch base with you. How are you doing? I know a couple of days ago you were super excited about that Renew 180 challenge. I'm actually throwing in some orders for the week. Can I get that place for you or do you have any other questions, right? And I'm sending a message to everybody that I messaged two days ago. Then I'm gonna flip it back to two weeks ago, message everybody on that day, and then I'm gonna flip it back to two months ago and message everybody on that day. That is how nobody falls through the cracks, you guys. You don't have to do this. You don't have to have a system, but I'm telling you, you're going to get to a point where you're like, oh, I forgot to follow up with that person. Or, oh, that person joined another business. Why did they join another business? Oh, I didn't follow up with them, right? Um, and this is what I found for me that works really, well, really, really well, that every single day I am writing down who I'm talking to and every single day I'm following up with people from two days ago, two weeks ago, and two months ago so that nobody falls through the cracks, all right? Um, also, you can send a text message replace or a text replacement for follow-ups, right? It's so easy when I type in somebody's name and I can just type in, one VIP FU, not the bad word, FU stands for follow up, right? Or one BA FU, and it's going to already pop up my message, and I can just click send, 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 send. All those people literally takes me 10 minutes. Okay, you guys, it is that, that easy. So that's it. I just broke down tons of information. I know that was a lot for you guys, but those are the six things that I do every single day for my business and how I do them. So you can take an hour wake up in the morning, get your personal development done, set a timer, grow your network, follow, 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 add three friends on Facebook. Okay. Then you're going to move to that next step, which is, let me go back to this. So, um, okay. So you're growing your network, your follow, follow, follow 10 minutes. Then you're interacting with people. You're liking, you're commenting, you're doing your three, one rule. You're finding people that you really want in your team. You're interacting with them 10 minutes done. Okay. You're making a post. You added your post, you know, ready to go. You already have it in your notes app. All you have to do is copy, paste, send. That should probably take you two minutes, not even a full 10. Now you're going on to messaging, sending, you know, responding, warm messages, use your text message replacement. Now you're moving on to follow up 10 minutes of that. You guys, if you can do these six things every single day for just 10 minutes, you guys are going to get an hour of work done. Imagine if later in the afternoon you have another hour, right, to do even more with your business. You guys are going to be able to fly through this and start seeing the results that you want. So a couple of action steps, things, maybe pick up a calendar. You guys, I got this one at Marshall's for $6.99. Okay, you don't need a super fancy calendar. You don't need to go spend 50 bucks on one. What I like in a calendar is I wanna have each day with room for me to write names. And then I want some space over here to be able to write my new friends. I don't add anything to this calendar. I keep my phone that has like Zooms and stuff like that in it. This is just for you to keep track of like follow-ups and stuff, okay guys? Um, set up your text replacements set up, download that reach app, things like that. If you guys have any other questions, I am going to hit the stop recording on this, but I'll stay on here for a few minutes, answer questions. If you guys want to unmute or throw them in the chat, I'd be happy to answer anything that you guys have.